see him? Yeah, dude, he's right here. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. Dude. Dude. <laughs> On the previous episode, you watched us have success. On the first hunt in a new area, where my buddy Tyler took down a huge public land buck. After that, we were feeling pretty confident about the rest of the trip. But the next couple days proved to be pretty difficult to get eyes on another buck. We hunted three or four straight days without ever seeing another set of antlers, but plenty of does. So we decided the next good opportunity we got that wasn't too far from the truck, we were going to try to punch one of our doe tags and do a little catch clean cook for y'all. So stick around and enjoy this delicious backstrap recipe that Nick cooked for us. sneaking in and we're gonna work our way through the area that him and Zimmy hunted that first morning they saw the two smaller bugs and Tyler saw a real nice one the day before season back in here so slip along this lane just like you just saw real quiet that dog was bedded 20 yards away and she must have heard us walking eventually but she popped up and just looked the opposite direction and she never could figure out where the noise was coming from but I'd say we got about another 100, 150 yards here that we're in don't kill range of the car. She's pretty close, so we haven't gotten too far. Hopefully we can slip up on some other deer here. Bunch of fresh tracks in this road here. Yeah. Should we just go pop up on that look in that meadow out there? Yeah. I'm pretty sure she did. <laughs> pretty sure she did. <laughs> I could see blood coming out whenever she was running. I felt good about it. <laughs> I better reload. Just to get... <laughs> that must get loud. <laughs> now a big buck will get up. That was all the crickets that started going since we yeah. shot. Yeah, we got something to do today. As if we didn't have enough to do. <laughs> we, needed, we needed something to needed uplift our spirits. Yeah. <laughs> Lifts me up. Yeah. What did I say? <coughs> I said, should I kill her? <laughs> Immediate. Yes. <laughs> I don't know why I asked. <laughs> she didn't go very far, it didn't sound like it. No. You said you could see blood spraying out. Where did it look like it was? Right in the shoulder. That's where it should have been. Probably right where you were aiming. We gotta make sure the gun's still on. Tyler's been carrying it around. He's known to <laughs> be rough on equipment. Cole said, OMG, OMG. Probably not what you think, Cole. I told him, do. We might not be done yet. It smells good. A little fresh gunpowder early in the morning. It feels good. It feels right. It felt right to do that. Yeah, it did. We needed some camp meat anyways. We do. We're, we're just eating cold sliced meats. We said we were going to fast until we had backstrap. And it's not a far walk to the truck. No. It's easy. It's on the path the whole time. It's going to be meat on ice. Oh, cool, cool. He's going to be fired up. Oh, yeah. Hey, this is Cole. What a loser. I don't know. If my buddies just shot a deer, I'd be picking up the phone. I know that. Well, it must not be his actual buddies then. Just co-workers. Just co-workers. Sounds like Cole Booth to keep it purely professional. 
I know that guy, that's what he's gonna do. Cole Booth. We need uh, assistance clean up on aisle one out here. Bring me some toilet paper too. Just got a call from Nick and Jake that they shot a doe, so packing all the stuff up. Gonna get everything ready to go. Pack her out. Just gotta find Nick's knife somewhere. I'm shirtless right now because I had to wear my insulated pants because all my other pairs of pants are soaked from the last couple days, so I just decided to do that and then I'm sweating real good. All right, let's go pack this thing out. A shirtless wonder. Where is this thing? <laughs> it's a giant, dude. She's back by them trees. I'll be quiet too because we might get a big Big times. Big, big times. <laughs> She was down there to the left of that big oak where you can see the base of it. And she ran and got behind this like green bush where we couldn't see her anymore. Never came out the other side, but we could heard her fall. Might have been right over there. Let's see where she's looking at. Assuming she went right through here or bit further right than what I thought it was gonna be. Yeah. So, what did she go? Sixty yards? Maybe. Big old horse of a doe. What do you think about that? Cold blue? <laughs> She's pretty big. <laughs> do some great meats. Good meats. Did you decide what we're gonna turn her into yet? Yeah, them fajitas the that with crystals marinade. Fajitas on college game day, huh? With cilantro. <laughs> Roll badge. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's get her taken care of. First kill of the internship. There you go. One on it any different. Good just job, a good Cole. Dough. You good did good. Cole. You did good job, Cole. Proud good of you. Cole. You're honest. You're honest and you're loyal. Oh, we got her deboned. <laughs> we're heading back to the hotel now and we're gonna have a day now. Oh, we're gonna have a full day. We're gonna watch some football, get this dough cooked up and get a bunch of work done all on the same day. So laundry, showers, football, edit, beverage. Hang out and have fun. Hang out, have fun, cook this dough. Yeah. We got seven things to do today. <laughs> so start checking things off the list. Number one, the hardest thing's already done. These guys helped get her deboned. I don't know, that probably only took 45 minutes, it feels like. Yeah, it wasn't long at all. We've been getting rain down the last couple days, so it'll be good to just dry everything out, get a little reset in, get some good food in our bellies. So stick around for Nick's uh, cooking segment. That's a good one. That's a good one right there, Paw Paw. <laughs> What do you got going here? I'm uh, dicing up some garlic. I'm gonna put it in a bag with some soy sauce, some Worcestershire sauce, and some Italian dressing, and a little bit of fajita seasoning. Kinda got a little marinade recipe from Crystal, Jake's fiance, for this back strap we got from this dough that Jake killed this morning. I'm about to get it out and trim it up, cut it up real thin, some little slices, and we're gonna let it sit in there and uh, soak up all them juices for a few hours while we continue to edit these videos and watch some college football. And then here later on this evening, we're gonna sizzle it up on the griddle. See if we can't make ourselves some sort of a meal. You gotta do what you gotta do to get the meat clean. That sandy soil doesn't help us. No, it was not easy. But I'm keeping it clean. Keeping the meat clean, keeping our amenities clean. It's all working out. I'm leaving everything better than I found it. Like a good Marine. Just kind of winging it here. This is all off feel. Yeah, you just gotta tell, do it with your heart. Yeah, this is like having touch on your three-point shot. Yeah. Follow through. Just gotta do it with your heart. Do it till it feels right. And that feels right right there. Oh, that's it. Let's give it a smell test. Oh yeah, that's it right there. I can tell. I can feel it down in my plum. We're gonna put that in the fridge. Let it sit. Let it sit. Red back and bash, bash. Oh, 
That's good. That's phenomenal. <laughs> Significantly more tender than that box. It's cut so thin, too. Yeah, that's righteous right there. Yeah. So we tell we put it all together. Cole, why don't you tell the folks the inside joke around on this trip? The cow call. Imitating uh, ranchers calling their cattle, and then me and Ted just started <laughs> making the cow calls, and now every time we see cattle, we're like, hip, hip. <laughs> Come back. Yeah. Come back. That, was, that honestly was you, I think. I think you started come back. <laughs> yeah, because it's uh, what the dairy farm that I used to work for used to say that. Whenever I'm working cows with my brother in law, uh -huh. uh, he's always like, hey, cow, come on. <laughs> hip, hip, <laughs> all right, hip. <laughs> Big hand <laughs> movements, you know. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Come back. Come back. All right, y'all. So. We've got our back strap and tenderloin here from the doe that Jake killed this morning, marinated up as uh, I think Worcestershire, soy sauce, Italian dressing, some minced up fresh garlic, cilantro. Some, some cilantro. Got all that sat in there all day, cooked it up. Got a little sauteed onions. We got some pico, a little microwave Spanish rice, and we got our tortillas toasted up right here. We're about to throw this all up in one wrap. You can call it a fajita, you can call it a meal, you can call it whatever you want, but what I'm gonna call it is good because it's gonna be pretty yeah. pretty damn good. I'm just gonna go ahead and say I've had a few pieces of that and it is very choice. So we've had a large day, a large, large day. It's gonna be a really good end to it. Really what good do you think day. about it, Cole Boo? No, what do you think about it? I'm fired up. It was a good <laughs> reset day. <laughs> oh, it was a strong reset. We had a good even sit. Yeah, we saw a couple saw bucks. bucks. Yeah, yeah like, first bucks in like three days. So we saw a couple bucks, a bunch of does again. But we got a good a good pinpoint of what we think we want to do for the next couple days. So we're about to get on this. Uh, the horns won. The horns won big over Wyoming. I mean, and the badgers. Even the badgers won. The badgers won. So we're <laughs> the badgers in this camp too. So I've never done that before, but I'm doing it now. And so we we'll call this one if she blows, she goes. And she blows, she goes, and I guarantee this one had blown before. <laughs> Thanks for watching this video. Hope to see y'all in the next one with a big buck down.